Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, Daniel Lee here, back with another video, continuing on this year digital marketing series. Now, if you haven't watched the first episode, go and do it because basically this is the fundamentals uh, of deep digital digital marketing, and that's very, very important for you to watch. Uh, but this one is sort of like the stage one in your uh, customer journey, right? In your robust customer journey, uh, which is the welcome flow, right? Or you know, in DTC terms, the, the NCA, which stands for New Customer Acquisition. And to start off, I'm not gonna start with this uh, email first. We're gonna really start off with a sort of a like, where it has to start first, right? The positioning, again, going back to the fundamentals. If you haven't watched that video, I really recommend doing this because, you know, if you don't really understand the fundamentals, uh, that'd be quite hard to keep up with this one. So, the positioning, right? Uh, the point where you capture your lead, the lead capture, the sign up form, like whatever you want to call it. Uh, in, in this case, um, it's going to be a very infamous one. Uh, so really stay tuned to it if I find out. But yeah, um, the one example that I really want to show you right here uh, that is killing it right now is I would say Crave Beauty and pretty much this whole series, as you, as you might notice, uh, like centered around the skincare kind of niche. And so that's, you know, the one, the industry, I mean, uh, that I took as an example for this whole series, right? But besides the point, uh, Crave Beauty. What is so special about them and why they really understand retention so good? Well, first of all, look at their page and look at how it's done. Like, it is Shopify, by the way. It's really done like in a different, very, very different way as most brands do this. So the, I, I really see they're really optimized more for like subscribers. So, you know, uh, skincare is not fast fashion. Let's show down skincare. You hit learn more. Obviously, it's within the Shopify, right? There is no subdomains over here. You can obviously watch the video. They start explaining what this skincare is. You know, a couple of testimonials. It's almost like a sales page. And at the end, this one there's like a delete capture at the bottom of the page. It really looks like a a page that literally sells the uh, the email, literally sells the newsletter, and kind of gets you on their list. So. They don't use any pop-up forms, so they use pop-up forms, which is, by the way, is a pretty good one. But really, whenever they do, right, with this one, it feels like they're still capturing the emails more than they sell the products, which is, this strategy is very eccentric, and not most brands do this, but like, it's like literally almost a sales page that's selling, not the product, but a newsletter, right? And even if, if you press the reset button, or you're going over here, that's a different page. It's called the press reset, and again, it almost like explaining everything here, and you're gonna, you know, you press that button. Uh, there, you know, some sort of like the basically explaining what this brand is all about. But again, at the end, this this like a line of like, hey, let's be friends, but like over the internet, like seamlessly integrates with that page. And I bet you they have a higher sign up form, uh, you know, if we compare to the, you know to the rest of the industry. And now, if you really want to look at their uh, sign up form, let's go to. Let's just really copy that and go to incognito tab so that I can fire it out properly. And if you look at their sign up form, obviously already in the incognito tab, it's unlike anything I personally saw before and something that I really took an inspiration and built out for myself. Again, that's not the masterpiece that I've created, but we'll get into this in a second. But what uh, Crave Beauty does uh, essentially is they have this form with GIF embedded in it. So obviously it is not a standard like Clavio, you know, builder for center forms. It wouldn't really fetch in Clavio, you know, they just don't have that functionality. So you need to use a, uh, a service. In this case, I use uh, Optimum. But if you look at their center form, the one thing that I really like about this is they use this uh, GIF, which really can tell more information, but do not take too much of a real estate, right? And it's really embedded, obviously the, you know, it looks very cool, right? It doesn't really uh, invade the space too much, right? So we still, you know, see the background. We still can scroll. Uh, they have this sort of a like um, pattern interrupt. You know, they basically ask you the question, and then you basically hit the button confirm. And you know, send the email. Here they're gonna again. This is the image. It looks like the in the PNG format. So feed your inbox what it's craving. Spam never. You know, skincare indication. Yep. Product tips, uh, you know, tricks, always new launches. You'll be first to know. Kind of like, like rattling off the benefits. And now take a look at this one. This is like what I built on Optimum. Again, don't look at this GIF. It's just for me to kind of show show you the, the functionality that you know Optimum 
is able to do the same thing you know with gifs and uh the way it looks like on desktop and on mobile as well if you you know if we go to a i don't know if i'm able to do that so if we hit inspect um if we will hit so basically as you see like it, it, it looks good maybe i would like kind of strip down the margins from the you know from the corners a bit more but that's like what it looks like on the iphone se you know if it's feature the iphone uh 12 pro you see it doesn't really invade too much space and it looks pretty it looks pretty decent again just for me to show you the uh the functionality of the optima and there is something that you are able to do uh the same there are still a couple of things that i need to cover and i believe really can you know work for you in terms of the copywriting and all that stuff so let's just basically go on this whiteboard and i'm going to explain you how this pop-up really works and why um, it is way better than you know any of this 10% off, 20% off hurry up hogwash. So if we will try to, as a bold claim, uh, draw something uh, you know that resembles the the uh, this pop up right in terms of the margins. So this is basically your uh, website margins right. So 600 pixels, somewhere around there. And so, as you can see, right, going back to this pop-up, uh, particularly here, um, uh-oh, I don't know why it like got so bad. So, something went wrong. Doesn't, yeah, it, it, it crept up a bit, but you get the point, right? Uh-oh, it's infamous. So, this is weird, and that's pretty much what we need. <laughs> this is the headline. This is the headline, uh, because again, remember guys, pop-up forms, ads, they have the same sort of a like premise to them, right? To the interrupt the pattern, but do not make it as, you know, this like a standard pop-up forms or like standard ads because a standard ad that, you know, let's say you're like writing this like a Facebook ad or like Instagram ad, but let's just say the Facebook, where, you know, you're featuring the, the review, the product highlight, uh, featured as in, in some like uh, journals like Allure or like Skin Beauty or I don't know, Vogue, something like that. Then there's a the discount and this thing and the text and the copy and you all this design it's too much and it looks like an ad people are gonna scroll up so basically the ad right the good ad has a three things right the first is a focal point right so you know the scroll and the product maybe just uh, let's say you sell like skincare maybe this uh, this I don't know moisturizer or a like kit right the, the beautiful kit right if we, I don't know go to a well we can go to Crave Beauty right here they have a pretty good kit that I by the way took uh, as you can see right here right Oh, that, that's basically this one, right? This night, it looks pretty good. Imagine if you're gonna put it like somewhere in the river or I don't know, lake on the, you know, on the mattress in the lake. And the lake is gonna be like, I don't know, like um, purple or, you know, with this like a sort of like a gradient, uh, maybe effect and shade. And this kid is gonna be just flowing on the water and but it's gonna be the center of the image. It's gonna stop the scroll right away because uh, one, it's a focal point. Second, colors are very different and it's very distinct, right? Because you know the rest is maybe like a bit blurry, uh, this gradient shade, and this one is like yellow. It's, uh, it's very distinct, right? That's what creates that um, distinction, right? That's what the creates, creates the contrast. And the third one, which uh, also pretty important, right? It's the what the fuck moment what the fuck is happening in this image? Why the fuck would they do that? That's what the question you need to pose, those, you need to pose in your ads for them to, you know, if it's the creative and the copy is here, right? The first three lines and then the see more button over here, they'll first, as after three seconds, they're gonna read the, the, the first two lines, right? And then they're gonna click see more if those three lines do their job. But again, it's always the stage. But we're not talking about the ads here. We're talking about the email, which still has the same premise, as I said, uh, which is the what the fuck moment, right? In this case, it is, sorry, it is a, um, uh-oh, it's infamous. Well, what's infamous? What's infamous, right? So that's why uh, this headline um, with this what the fuck WTF framework should be at the top, right? And it should be like, you know, you, as you can see in terms of the fonts, right? It's somewhere out around, you know, 43, 45, pixels in famous now in this image in this gif i should say i would replace that and here's what i would do instead 
I didn't do this because I don't have it, but I want you to understand what you can do right here. So this is exactly where you would feature the reviews. So if you look at the Crave Beauty over here, um, oh, I already closed it up one, but the, you see like they were kind of like a, giving you a sneak peek of what's inside in the email. In this case, what I would do personally, what I think would work better is featuring the reviews of people explaining what this newsletter is all about and why this newsletter is different. And the, the way you would do this, right? Again, um, it says, uh, oh, it's infamous. And then it says, can you get education people are actually addicted to read, which we're gonna get in a second, but uh, basically uh, getting people to like kind of whitelist your newsletter for themselves by featuring the GIF that kind of rolls up maybe four slash five um, reviews of people just like basically giving the their opinion on this particular newsletter, not the product. Remember, you don't sell the product, you sell the click, you sell the sign up, you do not sell the product. You sell the, just the sign up, you sell these infamous weird newsletter that if you sign up for, it's gonna be unlike anything you saw before. That's what the positioning is called right here. Four to five reviews of people just like, quoting people of what they think about this newsletter just get very like cool reviews like oh my god it's unlike anything i said before this nude man i spent 72 minutes binge watching your uh binge reading your newsletter i just can't stop opening it i just man it's what the fuck is happening in this newsletter is this illegal something like that right oh my god this is infamous this this shouldn't be legal do you honestly think it's not gonna get signups it will and so you need to feature the reviews over here of people basically talking about this particular newsletter uh, four to five reviews f like kind of folding again remember this is a gif that's folding those reviews uh, with the delay of 2.5 seconds so 2.5 seconds new review new review so that you can watch it so that you do not have to take too much of a real estate because remember uh, real estate is precious when it comes to this uh, newsletters Sorry, when it comes to this pop-up forms, right? But again, remember, subconscious that they're gonna X off the page. They're gonna X off this one, or they're gonna click back to the URL. If you're gonna disrupt your customers, which again, I never recommend doing this like a, a, at a first, like a three seconds, right? You either do this by uh, exit pop-up intent, exit intent pop-up, I should say, either through Google Analytics, just so you see where the drop-off of your website is, and then you basically put that pop-up five seconds before that. So that's the second one. You can do 70% scroll, you can do trigger off of some particular buttons, which Clavia allows you to do so. You can do button, like a floating button, which you basically click and people then open it, like a teasers, right? Or you can do on particular pages, you can do tailored towards the UTM. There are a lot of ways, again, this is something they're covering the fundamentals, that's why you need to watch it. But the idea is, if you're invading the space, disrupting their kind of activity on the website, you need to do this the way where they're not gonna click away right away. That's the whole point. And the only uh, way allows to do so is by having this thing in place first, right? Because without the headline, without the grabbing their attention and disrupting the time, they're gonna click away no matter how good this uh, newsletter is. That's when you need to sell it first. Uh, that's when you need to stop them first and read the reviews. And then the reviews uh, basically kind of telling the uh, the story of the, of the third point, which as I said, I'm gonna get into, which is skincare education people are actually addicted to read, right? That's uh, That explains the whole idea of what this uh, newsletter is about and then then I mentioned basically the word actually addicted to read so that's your big USB of your newsletter which sells the click now obviously uh, then you can go on and capture their custom property if you want to I don't recommend uh, doing this like this but again I just really seamless like I just like, blindly copy the uh, Crave Beauty because I really like how they did it. You can obviously, you know, ask for their skin concerns. It might help and it might work as a, like this uh, pattern interrupt again, like asking the question and then they gotta still put their email because it is like required. But you can capture their name, which if even more powerful, as we're gonna get into this thing where I'm gonna strip away and exactly how the first welcome email looks. And it's gonna be quite entertaining. It's gonna be quite stepping back to that the rep rule that i again mentioned in my previous videos that's why you need to watch it again cannot stress enough how uh manda it is to watch the fundamental video first so you capture their email over here or, sorry you capture their uh either 
custom property what you want to have either the first name which i still recommend and then obviously there is a button for the email and then the button do not say sign up or redeem or activate say something like begin adventure it is a slight twist but it helps the uh you know drive that further the higher percentage of a uh, sign up as they sign up obviously the first email is very important because it is where you you position your newsletter right in the right way you didn't give away the coupon well if i'm gonna you know put um my email here right let's just say daniel at creativities.com begin the adventure there's something in your in your in your inbox there's something waiting i should say there's something waiting in your inbox i kind of like messed it up but <laughs> again the point i just really spent a little time in this one and that's where you start kind of like whitelisting your email and that's the, the first email this one email right is going to be the very very important because this is where you you already position it for them to open and to kind of like pre-sell that email right you already pre-sell them thus opening an opportunity for you to even uh, go a bit longer on the copy but again remember longer doesn't mean bad and that really ties back to our rep framework now if you haven't heard about that one this is something again that i cover in my other video is called the grago email basically where i'm gonna build the whole campaign there you can watch me actually live just you know getting the the copy through from the doc into a new editor and basically explaining why i'm saying this and how this whole thing works but basically uh kind of like, you know walk you through this whole framework it stands for if you didn't know again relevance entertaining brevity right so relevant as the name implies right it should be relevant in this case right if you if we a skincare newsletter we should talk about skincare right simple as that uh if you talk about something else well this is where this whole framework really plays a part because if something is off like relevance right it should compensate or compromise or should compensate with this too right which is uh entertaining and brevity basically you know if one is off you need to double down harder on this too so if it's not relevant to skincare well if it's entertaining enough and it's if it's brief enough well that's not that bad right because well it's, it's extremely funny and it's brief so why not now if uh you know entertaining is off it should be relevant and it should be brief because remember entertainment is what allows us to go long all these preconceptions of people don't read people don't read bullshit people don't read direct response maybe new york times because new york times you know uh if you've ever read new york times especially about their um i just like read the the article about some the guy or like a fire rescues fire rescues find a alligator that dash through the fence and um you know but then there's some cases where uh, people got deceased and the word deceased in and of itself is already too hard for, for them to process and you know given the now society right they're going to feel very bad about it and psychologically they're just going to tune out that's why people just don't really or they can't really read but it doesn't say people don't read oh, look at the twitter do people read twitter why because really twitter is just so simple it's fun it's entertaining it's it's, it's very brief right but if you do even more entertainment, people can read on, especially when it's something relevant, going back to our uh, email, right? If it's not brief, but it's entertaining and it's relevant, you can go along. That's pretty much how this whole framework is, uh, works. I'm gonna X off my whiteboard. I'm gonna unplug my um, uh, graphic tablet right, right now, because right now we're going into a something, uh, that's going to be long and it's something that is going to be very entertaining because we're going to be stripping away right now this whole email that i wrote specifically for this uh video about their skin gear and how how would i write this on the brand's behalf so without further ado let's dive into this right now so that you can get a gist of what a good entertaining uh email should look like so um um uh, as you can see or other rather should know that anything that is marketing related has just the one goal grab the attention no matter what you do right influence marketing sms marketing uh paid advertising right email marketing the point of the lead you know going back to that rep framework that we just went through is just to grab the attention and that's the whole point of uh any email right you need to grab the attention first so that you can get them to keep reading right in this case uh it looks something like this uh I wish Apple made iPhones a bit more durable. 
remember that what the fuck framework WTF framework that's exactly what it is because uh, I have to admit when I saw your name in my, my god damn it uh, when I saw your name in my notification center weird course of action happened uh, this is where you feature the autom automatopoeia here again the ping the sound of like the, uh, when the phone basically kind of like goes off when the, like the sound of the notification you got the point right basically again uh remember i still have that video about the goggle email uh you can watch that one this is where i really go heavily into the copy and the reading and why i'm using the certain words and all that so i'm gonna link it down below you can uh, access that uh in the in the description but anyway this one's the horizontal bars i used to just kind of have a sort of like a conversation where you know i can put everything in quotes I should probably, by the way, do that if I'm speaking about it. So you can put something like that in quotes. And uh, obviously anything within them, you should idolize just to kind of make that theme of like me talking, right? Which uh, basically what it is actually. What's, it, what's that again? I'm chartling over to grab my phone and, huh, what? Whoa, smash, silence in the office. Avis, our CMO, rolls her eyes and in an office matter says, here we go again, classic Daniel. Oh yes, allow me to reduce myself. And this is where basically you're gonna, uh, this is probably, I, I can like highlight this section. This is where this, uh, I don't know, let's just highlight this, um, which one we should do? Let's do red. This is, I'm gonna, by the way, uh, link this uh, doc in the description down below just so that you can do it for yourself this one anything that is covered in red it is a what the fuck or wtf right or you know why the fuck would they do this why the fuck did this does this, this guy says that to me this is where it's like this is literally unlike anything you've seen before but they wouldn't read it remember they wouldn't read it if you didn't position your newsletter as infamous right uh and that's not even uh speaking about the subject line it's about the whole point where you sign up for your customers if you're just gonna say sign up for 10 percent off and they're gonna sign up for this and then you're gonna hit them with something else something like this they're gonna feel a bit weird but when they know something's gonna something is going their way something is coming up something that's very infamous it's like they're you almost like a whitelisting uh your time right they're almost like gonna give you not like 10 seconds but they're gonna give you like 30 seconds for you to like kind of uh, explain and uh, perform i should say so let's just continue on my name is daniel lit uh, and you are the reason I got so excited today. Relax, you don't have to buy me a new iPhone. Uh, if I were to do that, over way over 37,000 readers would help me a lot of Apple products. So again, entertainment, remember that entertainment, this is what gets people to read on. And, but it doesn't have to be just entertainment. Uh, as you can see right here, I also kind of jokingly kind of picked back to that I actually have a 37,000 uh, skincare addicts, if uh, speaking about skincare, on my list, reading these emails, right? Active readers. Uh, you can say active readers, we can say 37,000 readers, and I should say way over. So it's like sort of like an amusing way to say, or like stay, I should say, the social proof, right? So hey, 37,000 uh, readers. And all with skincare concerns, how odd. Yeah, there are quite a few skincare addicts who opt in for this newsletter, trying to learn everything there is about it. And believe me, they were overwhelmed by all this shoe do's gotta do's too endlessly searching for a magical product that could make their problem disappear as you can see right here right you keep talking you keep uh, basically explaining what this whole thing is about by virtue of listing their pains and their um their problems right so yeah there are a few you see like it's basically like have their problems and obstacles wrapped up but it's the copy isn't just direct response and all this hogwash that, you know, this guys from Upwork that read like Ogilvy uh, uh, hit you with like, Dear friend, if you're tired of this true deuce and gotta deuce, if you're endlessly searching for a magical pill, well, this newsletter is gonna be the, unlike anything you saw. You don't need to say that shit because remember, there's a IRL test that you need to pass on because, oh my God. Yeah, another dear friend, this product is it is a magical pill you take it and all of your problems and redness and acne disappear well 
that's not gonna really pass the IRL test, as I said, because the, the the one thing that you also need to understand is the sophistication of the market. How many claims they were exposed to before that? A lot, a lot, because well, inbox is pretty packed place. So you really need to kind of like uh, position all of their pains and obstacles in a very entertaining, going back to our framework, uh, way. And believe me, they were overwhelmed by all these should do's and gotta do's. That's because that's what these people are struggling with, right? Endlessly searching for a magical product that could solve their problem, uh, could make the problem disappear. But I'm glad they're safe now, meaning that they're on this newsletter, right? But you see, like, I don't have to, you get the point. Uh, not everyone has stuck around, of course. Uh, many quickly scram or scrammed. M many quickly, sc uh, everyone has stuck. Many, yeah, I should say probably sc scrammed uh, and unsubscribe. Oh, oh fuck it you know what fuck it that's 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 copywriting we're not here sitting around the sat test right uh grammar doesn't really it's not that important okay it's not that important if you know if you want to make the sound in a certain way typically they run off screaming seven emails this week tip th this tip leads to a sale it's been four days and no results right so you basically take all these objections right like seven emails uh basically positioning your new newsletter as well, yeah, I email seven times a week, which is every day, which is like, oh my God, too many emails. Yeah, well, they usually, they, you know, all these uh, people are just like uh, typically screaming when they're running off from my newsletter, like, oh, many, oh my God, too many emails, too many emails. Basically position yourself as, yeah, but this newsletter is about the value, right? This tip leads to a sale. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. I help you to solve the problem. Like, like, isn't that is that bad? Like, what a weird thing, right? It's been four days and no results, uh, implying all this like a tire kickers and uh, all this you know impatient people. I should say impatient people. Now, if you ever feel the same type of way, you can leave it any time. It's all now. Now, as a brand owner, tell me how many newsletters out there you saw that ask people to unsubscribe explicitly by showing non-neediness to them like dude if you feel like i'm emailing you too much if you think that my tips leads to a sale and you hate that if you you know been waiting for four days and no results you better unsubscribe because most brands don't do this stuff like they, they just they just like they're terrified with oh my god people's gonna unsubscribe they're not gonna buy it. oh my god too many unsubscribes well i don't give a shit on my clients for all of my clients we send every day absolutely every day and we have a zero spam complaint, and we have like a seven unsubscribes maybe, which isn't too bad, uh, comp you know, given that the amount of people that are subscribed to this newsletter, uh, because people unsubscribe from any email. And what you can find that people are gonna unsubscribe for your marketing, flyer marketing emails way more often and with more enthusiasm than for emails like this because when you position as non-needy this works the other way around you attract people people kind of like gravitate towards you right so that's the the power of non-neediness in this business right in business in general because odds are you aren't committed to skincare as i do so unless you're a skin a skin addict or a skincare addict or someone who wants a real change uh hearing my thoughts on it day in day out is probably going to drive you nuts so so unless you're a skin addict, I'm gonna just say uh, identity. Or someone who wants a real change, someone who wants a real change, that's, the, that's, the, that's their wants, that's their needs, that's their dreams, right? That's what they wanna do. That's why they end skincare in the first place. They do not open this newsletter to hear about from you. They wanna, at the end of the day, well, duh, solve the problem, right? So that's why you need to kinda like, again, going back to this whole framework, you position and you kind of like um, channel that their the dreams through this entertaining copy, which allows you to go a bit longer because it's entertaining, right? This whole rep this this is how it works. That's what's that's what retention is really all about, and that's what really copywriting, modern copywriting, I should say, is really all about. So, uh, who wants real change, right? You can just say uh, so. Let's just come in on that one. You can say their dream, right? Their dream. Here are my thoughts day in day out. Uh, it's probably going to drive you nuts. Anyway, the moment you feel an itch that you don't love this newsletter, show this love 
to an unsubscribe button below. Well, and some people are gonna unsubscribe, but here's the thing, they wouldn't buy it anyway. And but those who really wanna hear from you and those who really wanna buy is gonna pull even more. So it's like a like auto filtration of tire kickers and attracting only people who have money and real respect for your brand. So this is very powerful. But what you don't realize, the skincare could be overwhelming and you need guidance. And this is where you, you put that subheader just to kind of like uh, break this. Again, the one point is, uh, and if you uh, even look at the emails, um, in my, again, in the video that I, about the Gragger one, the way I structure this, we use the wide spacer just so that, you know, uh, it looks way, way more uh, mobile optimized. And essentially we create this emails uh, for mobile in the first place. And that's why you need to use subheaders just to kind of break up this pattern of like, like chop, you know, basically hold this like a clunky, chunk of text that people don't read. Uh, the readability is very, very important. And as you can see, I never go more than three lines. I mean, I really hardly ever go over than three lines. Uh, so while well, listen to what I have to say, and this is where you just start kind of like talking about uh, your credentials. I'm not saying like, like legitimizing yourself, but if you yourself, maybe like dermatologist, if you, again, speaking about uh, skincare, if you yourself a dermatologist, if you, uh, if your brand like has a award-winning products, that might really actually help, right? Not only it builds authority, but also kind of like um, gives the people the reason why they should listen to you as opposed to some random brand that just uh, <laughs> DTC, um, we are so uh, trendy. Really? Well, I've been in this game for 12 years now. That's a solid, that's, that's a solid track record, right? Which was enough to found a brand with a lot of pro award-winning products Featured in uh, Lure, you know, Allure, New Beauty, Glamour, etc. You know, secret, less is more. This is like uh, your USB right here. Again, uh, I'm gonna give give that link uh, to this doc uh, in the description. Less is more. Or I should say this is gonna be the USB, but you get the point, right? Just like the rest of what you learn about this, uh, just like the rest you learn about skincare uh, from me, I should say. I'm probably the most unprofessional skincare specialist uh, you'll ever you'll ever met, Daniel. What what the hell with your grammar? Uh, God damn it! I doubt anybody can do it simpler than me, honestly. Furthermore, teach. So, to start off your skincare journey, I'll give you a special gift. Ellipsis is here. No, not another coupon that other brands used to give. Oh, please take our 10% off. Give us an email. We're gonna email you some bullshit four times a week, four times a week. Because if we go to five, people are gonna unsubscribe. We're gonna annoy them because our emails annoy people. They do not like make people to wanna read it, right? They do not build the binge effect. We annoy people because, well, that's just our mindset of uh, going to this email marketing, right? We, we annoy people. So stupid. Give me a sec. Um, it should be somewhere, somewhere, uh, somewhere here. Fumble in my pocket. Mm. Here, your your label uh, hacking glasses. What is that? Uh, label hacking glasses. It is a page on your website. You can put it like a, on an unbounced page, uh, which is like custom coded uh, on a subdomain. Obviously, you know, if you have like a domain of coyotes.com, it would just say go dot coyotes.com and you know on that page you can explain like why this this label this is what you should do this is what you should look for this is what you should avoid again take your twist on it again this this whole the newsletter and this whole email marketing is like almost a a netflix show you create this like a little world where people read these emails and they get these special perks as if like it's a sort of a game okay so in this case in this case right as they watch this you know, I call it like a HBO of inbox, uh, Netflix of inbox, game of inbox, whatever you want to call it. This special like a uh, perk, special gift, special cool tool that they can use in the skincare journey, and they click it on it, and then redirects them to the page where you talk about labels, what ingredients they should use, and then really sell your kit by explaining what ingredients you use. Uh, thus, kind of like whitelist yourself automatically. I hope that wasn't confusing. <laughs> so this tool will keep your skin away from nasty chemicals. Those, um, you know, quote unquote, awesome brand put awesome brands put in their stuff. It's just one of many tools I'm going to give you. But 
if it doesn't sound exciting so far, sorry, I probably really like a retarded for now, so let me just go again. This tool, keep your skin away from nasty chemicals, those awesome brands put in their stuff. It's just one of the many tools that I'm going, I'm going to give you, but if it isn't exciting so far, you should probably leave by now and go make a couple avocado masks and hope it'll have, bye. But if you are patient enough, I promise you, your, I promise you the education experience unlike anything you were able to see before, or well, anything you saw before. And now, I stop telling and start educating you on skincare. First, a uh, 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 yeah, uh, sorry, there should be no comma here. First assignment is to learn how to read labels. And you see, that's where the game starts, right? Labels. First, you need to learn how to use labels. That's why you need to use glasses that I just gave you, you know? And that's the button, right? You can make it as a button, obviously, make it green, make it within your colors, within your brand, of your brand. I told you my gift was special. Use glasses. You see, like, first assignment is to learn how you read labels. I told you my, I told you these glasses were special, right? I told you my gift was special. Uh, use the glasses, click the button, go to the page, page of the how to read labels, as like, like a like label hacking glasses pre uh, pre frame, right? Uh, as like a tool, almost like you know, uh, you got some sort of like a superpower, right? And that's the page explains you how to do it. This is where you could position your product as the one that uses like simple simple ingredients and like supernatural ones. I promise it'll be quite a skincare journey. All right, I gotta go to welcome newcomers. Until next time, Daniel Lit, right? This is where you basically sign it off, but do not forget that we also have a PS section, and this is where you can use a superpower of email by whitelisting your, because remember, this is the first email that they saw, uh, that, that, that they get, by whitelisting your email, uh, by making people to reply, right? Because this is the golden of email. If you get people to reply, and then you apply back, it automatically whitelists your email and basically shows the G Gmail or any other ISPs, right? That you're actually a real person and that, well, they might actually want to favor you, right? So if you hit reply to this email and tell maybe how you stumble across this skincare newsletter, I'll actually give you something neat. $40 off the skin, uh, the Coyotes snack kit. Again, if it makes sense for the margins, obviously uh, give $40 off don't recommend giving coupons like in terms of the percentage because well you know if it's a high ticket as a kid which i recommend because it bumps up the aov right it looks way more it's gonna convert just way better and again it's something that i see even with my clients right uh high ticket works way better with dollars off as opposed to percentage off because it is being perceived as more valuable because well ten dollars which could be you know if it's like a hundred i don't know eighty dollar kit could be you know $18, but if you can say like $20, well, that already sounds pretty, that sounds already better than 10% off, although it's kind of the same thing. Again, biases, psychology, this is how evolution works, come on. Uh, quite rewarding to real to the end, huh? And this one, it's a very like a slight point here, but like you're almost like slightly training your readers to like kind of read till the end because, well, they get a treat. Again, they're not like dogs or like animals and, and stuff, but you get the point, right? You basically like rewarding people for reading till the end, and that's what's gonna get that um, maybe uh, pattern in your subscribers to read emails through every email through. Now, uh, for anybody who's on the conservative side uh, and says like, "Well, Daniel, this email is like uh, six hundred words, and my people don't read," and you know, it's just my customers, they, they just don't they just don't read, right? Like, this is a pretty long email, like, let me just tell you that, so... Uh, 600. Wow, that was, that was pretty accurate. That was pretty accurate. Uh, you can, yeah, you can just smash a like for that, for that accuracy. But anyway, for those who, like, say, oh, well, it might not work for me, well, which... I already gave a statement in and of itself, but for you guys uh, specifically, I pulled up the email, which I personally like. And if you like the video, please indicate that with thumbs up thingy and subscription to the channel. That really would uh, help with the algorithm and help you because, well, you're not going to miss another episode of this DDC Redemption Marketing Series, uh, which is, as you can see, a quite valuable and quite different. 
as opposed to all the things you saw before, right? With this, uh, you know, flyer marketing stuff in your inbox. But anyway, let's uh, uh, break down this one. So again, uh, this is the first email, they open it. The first thing they see is you just got $20 off the skit. Again, if it's the page where you sell the skit, you wanna be very consistent, right? You know, even with a subject line, uh, if we go and look at the subject line, it's very like, cons like it's it's a consistent to what they just saw and it's very desire based, right? So your twenty dollars off this kit, and then the company name is you know if uh, if it's used to people, if it's youth to people, youth to the people, uh, it would be youth to the people in this case, right? It's coyotes, but essentially you hit save, you go edit this stuff, and then you put this email as first, right? Because again only because if you're only if you're conservative right only if like no no we're not gonna do this thing it's only like percentage uh, percentage base off well this sort of approach might actually work for you right so you just got 20 dollars off this kid feature this kid excited don't be it's it's just the tip of the iceberg because as a member of this ultimate skincare newsletter you're about to embark on the whole new journey which is unlike anything you've saw before Psst. Right, and this emoji with a kind of like shing. I'm not sure what's that called, but hey, I'm kind of like already sold on this on of that stuff. Uh, so for now, though, here's the private link or button. I just put a link. I think it's just more personal one. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, you you might obviously utilize the button. For now, again, for now though, uh, here's the private link with the code, right? You know, the, what, what Clive allows you to do is, you know, if you generate the coupon, you can actually put the coupon code activator, I don't know, in the link itself so that whenever they click, it automatically applies to their account. And so whenever they go to the checkout, they don't have to put like any code there. And so it's gonna be automatically already like applied to their to their profile. So yeah, if it makes sense. Uh, sign it off with the Daniel Lit. And again, PS Action, you wanna utilize something like PS don't forget to check your inbox in 20 minutes i'm almost done implying that you know you kind of like finishing writing this email uh put it like what white spacer here again on the mobile is going to look something even bigger uh, this uh, horizontal bar and even in the god damn it even uh the uh the footer is also done with good copy and also entertaining right so well this is something that i do for pretty much all my clients right and something that I recently ha started to doing, right? Putting the footer that actually sells even more, right? So too many emails, not too, not into skincare that much, kind of implying that like, well, if you don't wanna hear from us or if you hate us emailing you seven times, seven times a day about tips and value, pure value about skincare, well, you should unsubscribe because, well, odds are you're not into skincare, which right here, because odds are you committed to, again, I'm just being freshness again. Um, but basically, yeah, too many emails, not, not not into skincare that much, unsubscribe because odds are, right, uh, you're, you're just not gonna love it, right? You, you just gotta go nuts because I love skincare and if you don't, well, you should probably get off. And then the second one is treat yourself and your skin with award-winning products. Check what's new in the lab. Again, remember, this is the world and this is, you can do whatever with this email, right? Whatever you want with this uh, channel, right? Because remember, uh, email is a very cheap channel, relatively, right? Compared to like ads and SMS especially, right? SMS, by the way, is not cheap. And if you're making like a less than 100K, you probably shouldn't do it. But that's why email comes in handy, right? That's why email is like almost like essential channel for you. Uh, and you can like, you can create this like a sort of like a world, uh, you know, in your in your in your email where you refer to your store or to your brand as a, like a lab, right? Because well, this is where you kind of formulate your products. And if you don't want to know what's new, which is a very powerful uh, bias, I should say, within people, knowing what's new, and just reference the the uh, you know the site and basically the new section, like featuring all the new products that came into a store. And then obviously, fan uh, mail and compliments on shipping times can be sent to again. You see copywriting everywhere everywhere it's like it's this way it's just like that's how you do it right don't be boring just do it like this so uh under the second email right now and this one might be actually like almost like an epitome of what newsletter could be like should be like i don't know look like sounds like we perceive like because well whatever you want to call it netflix show hbo 
Amazon Prime, that's exactly what it feels like. And the whole point is, is to make it bingeable. This one is actually pretty much probably meets our whole framework of rep. So it's it's relevant, it's, it's entertaining, it's brief. Uh, actually, let me just check. Okay, we might, yeah. A cap, cap, sorry, cap. We might, it might not be like that. Uh, okay, yeah. It might not be that uh, brief, but uh, remember the framework, the rep, right? If something is off, we compromise that by doubling down on two of the other ones, right? So in this case, if Baby Relax, well, we should probably double down on entertainment first, right? And on relevance. So it's gonna be extremely relevant and tremendously entertaining, which is, um, what this email is gonna promise you. So let's just dive into this one. All right, or I should say, all right, who can name the best party for a movie that skin sells? So, right, kind of like asking the question. And this is where I'm gonna actually, again, I was gonna uh, share this doc with you. Uh, this is a weird trick, it's called like, a th it's, a, it's like assuming an authority. Basically what it is, is like, uh, you know, if you, the person as an authority, as an expert, as a specialist or a dermatologist with a PhD or whatever, uh, you have a sort of an edge of like being an expert at it, right? You are founder of the brand and they're like the class and like you're just teaching them. So you're being perceived as an authority by not stating that you are an authority. You might be on the same page, but like when you create that authority, or rather when you position your emails uh, in the way that where you are authority and they're there the class, right? You just basically like narrating this whole thing. Um, they don't not explicitly tell them that you're an authority. They assume it automatically, psychologically, like whatever you want to call it. They just assume it, right? And that's a good. I'm not gonna call it a trick, but a tip for you to for you to know, right? So, all right, who can name the best product for when with desk and sales? My eyes are scanning the class for anybody willing to answer. Again, this whole inbox is just like almost like a show where uh, there are characters and something happening, and they can like literally read this and like they can, they can feel it. They can just imagine what's happening right now as the read on, right? So the class, you just asking them a question: What we're removing that skin cells? The answer is exfoliator, and we all know that. So let's read on. Uh, except someone uh, looks like everybody's shaking or I should say trembling but even here's some gulps right except someone uh, who looks like you you look around and notice that nobody seems to give an answer so your hands goes up uh, because probably they would already know uh, what removed does skin cells because well you know that's not that hard of an answer really and it also goes back to the market research that you just done prior to that, and but that's just already another video for it. It's not something we're gonna dive into this right now, it's for later, but when you know your market, uh, in this case, right, skincare, you might position even more sophisticated like questions, like maybe you wanna ask them what the white cast is, maybe some, if you know it, obviously, that's why you need to do the market research, right? Suddenly I spot and say, okay, good. Uh, sorry, I just wanna get your name card. And this is where you utilize their first name. This is, and again, this is very powerful because people love their hearing their name, right? Uh, it's something that Daniel Carnegie, right? It's something that what the Daniel Carnegie said, I suppose, uh, the book, the How to Win Friends and Influence People, right? People like to hear their name. Here's the thing, right? Marketers, email marketers, right? Uh, I should call them, they over abuse this meta attack of like a first name. What is a typical kind of greeting in the first email? Like, hey, Daniel, hi, Daniel. Oh, it's D Daniel. It's a uh, like first name, first name, comma, first name. Hey, first name. Like it's just so overused. It's almost like Daniel. Hey, uh, we got this new credit card with a four percent interest. Oh my God, did you check out our new credit card with four interest, Daniel? Daniel, did you Daniel are Daniel? All that bullshit. It's like that's why it's overused. But when you utilize their name as a character, as in sort of like a almost like a movie right here, right? It becomes very powerful if you like really know how to use it right. Like this example, right? I just want your name card, Daniel, or in this case, Sam. I just, you know, use some other word, some other name. Sam, sounds like a know-it-all. I mutter under my breath. Uh, oh, yes, Sam. Uh, yes, you. Come on, drop it. With a pause, you answer. Basically, going back, going back to Sam, right? Uh, uh, that thing that unclocks our skin pores is like exfoliator? I walk up to you, 
The rest of the class looks nervously. I lean over your desk, right beside your ear. You know, like the person is there, you're just like coming out like this and like, that is indeed the right answer. <laughs> I smile. You see, it's just the, that's that's what I call Netflix, guys. Come on, you got you got to drop the like for that one. Uh, everyone else lets out a collective sigh, like, <sighs> with a smile on your face, uh, you go back to your desk. One more, I say. One more question. One more, though. I say one, one more question. Can you name a couple good ones? You smirk like. <laughs> You answer without with too much thought. That's an easy one. You answer without too much thought. Some good facial scrubs are really going to remove that dead skin cell. That dead skin cell, I should say. Well, dead skin, whatever, right? You give it your answer, you look around the class with a cocky nod, but nobody seems to smile back. Uh, right behind you, you turn around to see my face an inch from your control with rage. And with the veins popping out of my forehead, I scream. That is completely and utterly wrong. Looks like it'll be three strikes of the cane and detention from you. But seriously, the physical scrubs are anything but abrasive and greasy uh, you wrap around your skin. It's really hard to know when you remove just the right amount of dead skin cells and when you potentially damage it. To the point where it is exposed to things like sun. But here's your way out. But here's, uh, I should say, but here's your way out. Chemical exfoliation. The the line where, where, where this is where the answer is lies. Right? Chemical exfoliation. But you see, this whole thing that I just like told you. Do you think? Do you honestly think would that allow you to uh, email every day? Absolutely, because when you do like this people love it people are gonna open it, they're gonna binge it and that's how you get attention because remember even with ads the first point is to get rapid attention the first point of email though as opposed to ads that's the, the real difference the, the, the one thing that remains the same is to grab the attention but as opposed to ads this is where you create the binge effect because as opposed to ads email is a way cheaper channel relatively i should say where you can build a binge effect by emailing every day by staying in the inbox every day and by giving emails like this which are completely like different from your competition and that's how you bury your competition that's the framework so and that's how you kind of like communicate all this you know that's how you teach people and that's how you provide value and that's how you get a, a high ctr that's what's called the real digital marketing and the you know relationship base sounds scary oh uh but it sounds scarier than it actually is the way the chemical exploration works is that you know they're Gentle, uh, there are gentle asses that work uh, across your face, right? You basically explain like maybe like they don't know, maybe they haven't heard of that before, but yeah, it sounds scary, but actually scary, uh, you know, that it is. And that's a gentle, uh, gentle assets uh, that work across your face, right? They're uh, the asses. I don't remember which ones, but you know, you get the, you better know me, right? So to dissolve the dead skin cells of the surface of your skin, and then you know, you basically says like which is a lot better than some uh, scrubs. Keep in mind though. Because they work at a steady rate, uh, and while you may not see dramatic results instantly, over the long term, you're gonna see much better results without the possible sensitivity, you know, or damage that you can uh, cause in your skin. Again, I'm already going back into this basically the um, the whole point of like the skincare and you know how this chemical exfoliation works and like why it's better than physical exfoliation, right? Again, whatever it is, that's how you want to position that thing. Uh, the point is, it's like presented in a very entertaining way and not like, hey, yeah, chemical exfoliation is way better than scrubs because this, this, and this, and here are the reviews, and here's the product. Well, thank you. It might work. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying that, like, do you honestly think people are going to open your email a second time? No way. No way. They're not going to open it. And that's where you lose the, the grip on the market. But how do you know? which level of intensity is right for you. This is where you start referencing to another tool that you have for them to help to find out which one is their skin uh, explicitly is adaptable to, right? That's kind of the question you kind of pose here. That is what led me to create my revolutionary quiz. And this is where you can quiz people, right? So uh, you call it skin typer. I kind of position that as a tool, as another tool. Shows you 
what type of four assets? Uh, yeah, actually, there are four assets here. Uh, your skin is most receptive to. It's your second tool from next to label hacking glasses. To put on use, click here. Uh, click this button below, and it'll take you there in a flash. Button gets into that. Uh, you know quiz right you can use like quizify and already on the website right this is where you can actually use the the quiz itself right so you can use the quizify which by the way also in which channel similar with, with clavio right in you can actually then use the uh custom properties like that basically gets attached to the profiles and you can you know further segment this thing out and then there's a button like use skin typer new tool unlock skin typer you see like new tool unlock again going back to this whole game of the uh, of inbox or if you know if you know about it I, I probably should say if you already you know if you already know it or if you already know it jump on the product page uh, of rewarding winning exploiter kit instead so again if if they already know this you basically already give them opportunity of like place an order uh right away right without you know going uh to any quizzes because again, if they know it, why you know lose that conversion, and uh, you can you know basically sell them like right away here in the email, and obviously sign it off with a Daniel Led as your name, right? Because again, it's not the brand that emails me; it's the person that emails me. So yeah, that's what I call that's what I call the welcome flow, right? Or NCA uh, new customer acquisition uh, funnel, right? Uh, if uh, in DTC terms. Speaking of DTC, by the way, if you're a brand owner that uh owns a brand an e-commerce brand right and if you want sort of like the similar retention marketing down for your brand well you can schedule a call you can uh we can go in this uh, handy handy app that i call zoom and we can talk about and you know specifically tailor the strategy towards you and what it looked for your brand because remember this what's called retention that's what's called uh, the bench effect that's what's called the revenue that's what how you basically are able to claim you know 30 35 40 percent of your revenue and most importantly uh that's how you create the most responsive list and responsive list uh you know whether it's going to be an sms or an email but in this case email that's what allows us to have this equity in your business so if you want coyotes my agency do something similar uh on your behalf for your email marketing you can reach out to me basically on my website you can schedule a call uh the link is going to be down below but for anybody out there who liked this video please indicate that with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and in the next video we'll be going further into the funnel and you know already cranking out the browser abandonments uh card abandonments and how they structure because you know a couple advanced flows as well that i uh, use for my clients personally that work tremendously well uh but again i'm just going to keep it within like the acquisition funnel for now and then the next week we already go into a retention and that's where you know this whole uh the, this whole throttle of email marketing really opens so i'll see you there